spider is the meal. It's going down. That's it. It's over. Holy moly. Have you guys ever seen this? <gasps> this is in, in my front yard, right in front of my door. Whoa. It's a trip. Buffer, say hi. That black widow just captured his dinner, her dinner fast. I mean, wow. There it is. She's like, I'm saving that for later. You guys, you're very welcome. You get to see National Geographic stuff on my Snapchat and like, <clears throat> I don't kill bugs. I don't kill, I don't kill those kind. But maybe I should move that black widow. Or maybe I should have somebody else move that black widow. <sighs> ah, that's in front of my door. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Hey, do you guys see 1111, 222, 333? Well, I see, I see those numbers. I see 1111 mostly, and that's, that's the number it started with for me. I started seeing it all the time, everywhere. And it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't random and it wasn't a coincidence, but maybe it was like two coinciding events, right? It was all the time on my phone, on my steps, on receipts, license plates. I saw it everywhere. And I've realized it's the universe communicating with itself through itself, through symbols, through me, through the symbols. I realized there's so much more. And I started to wake up from the matrix. And that's why I'm seeing it. And that's why you might be seeing it. 1111. That number is, if it's showing up in your life, if you wake up at 111 or 1111 and you think of me, it's not me. You, you might think it's me, but it's you. It's your spirituality and it's your consciousness telling you, pay attention, there's more. And if I helped you to realize that you're, you're tapping into your own spirituality, then that's wonderful. <laughs> But it's about you. It's about your own awakening. It's about your own synchronicities and your own communication with your, your higher self. You are a divine spark of source living in this bodysuit. So try mastering both your spirituality and your physicality. <laughs> anyway, I love you. Happy. Happy 11-11. I guess make a wish. I don't know. It's 11 11. One more thing. If the universe is constantly communicating with you through signs and symbols, when you walk up on a spider wrapping up another spider into its web to save it for dinner for later, like you, I think the spider like injects some venom and then lets the inside of the other spider liquefy and then drinks it. When you're walking up on that, what does that mean exactly? Like my, my daughter said it in my subconscious, like would have told me already and I should know, but why did I see that? What lesson was, was there to be learned in that? What, what symbology did that, did that come to me for? So maybe I'm going to dream on it. I'm going to put it into my consciousness and I'm going to dream on it. Like, why did I get to see that? And why did all you, whoever looked at my story earlier? <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys.